You're just so good, Bob. You should so happy. Someone still thinks they're on their break, but they got to prepare. What have you got lined up now? No, I've got the train segment. Haven't I've got you? the train segment. All right, guys, well, you guessed it right. It's Euphemus part now. Hi, guys. My name is Karen Moda. I'm the fashion coordinator of Onoki House of Saris in Leicester. I'm here today to give you the latest fashion tips for summer 2012, which will be my fashion statement of the week. Anoki was founded by my grandfather in 1967, um, and we've flourished ever since. I personally feel as if reds will always stay in fashion. The bright, you know, the nice bright reds, the traditional reds, especially when it comes to lengas and bridal wear, they will always stay in fashion, as well as with the whites as well, because girls nowadays want to go for more white, the more elegance, the more luxury kind of feel to it, which I absolutely adore, to be completely honest with you. When it comes to saris, the bright colours are in. Oh, I love it, because why I say that? The yellows, the nice uh, coral pinks, the ravishing purples, I personally feel that that inspires girls. But recently, we've seen more of the Lenga kind of chorlies come out, the more layered Lengas, obviously the longer tops with the skirts, and that, that's what's in fashion right now for 2012 anyway. Well, for this summer, the usual favorite is the Georgettes. Why? Because it hangs very well, the embroidery sits on it beautifully, um, and it covers the shape of the girl. However, what's in fashion right now, what people don't realize is the lace. Oh, it's a brilliant fabric. It's so soft on the skin. The design of the lace is brilliantly done. Um, also, velvet is also in fashion. You know, with the velvet borders, with the um, Swarovski crystals embellished on there, it, it gives it that sheen because you see a velvet is more of a stiff kind of fabric. It might have a soft feel, but as a fabric itself is very stiff, imagine putting embroidery on there because it's more darker and the embroidery is lighter and different lights, oh, it comes up beautiful. What I would also recommend as well, what's in fashion this year is net. But make sure you don't get the crimple net, which most retailers and most designers tend to go for, except for us. We go for a nice softer net, because we know net is one of those fabrics that girls tend to stay away from because they feel that it's, it's too revealing and it's too hard on the skin. But our net is brilliant. It's, it feels like satin on your skin. It, it just goes with the flow. Well, what I would also actually say as a statement, chiffon. That is a future hit for 2012 and maybe even beyond. My name is Karen Moda and I hope you enjoyed my fashion statement of the week and from all of us, thank you from Anoki House of Saris in Leicester. I hope you've been enjoying the Snapshots here for six. We're getting closer to that number one spot. But first, without further delay, we're going to kick off a track number three. We have a new entry on the countdown and straight on number 3 we have Thuhi Mera from the movie Jana 2. Thuhi Mera, sung by Shafkat Amanat Ali, is a Sufi number peppered by beats that you might have heard before. But still, it manages to hold your attention from the beginning because of the sheer brilliance of Shafkat's voice. And number two is another new entry. It's an item number. From the movie Tez, I bring to you Layla. A departure from his recent films, Priya Darshan's Tez has the music composer duo Sajid Wajid. Layla is an item song and has immediately caught the attention of our viewers. Tez is the story of one man who is out to get back what was unjustly taken away from him. The other is willing to do whatever it takes to stop him in order to serve justice. Both are pitted against each other and both stand the test of time. Lala, matu, lala, matu. 
So we're at that number one spot now, and for a second week running, I bring to you Anar Khalid Disco Chali from Houseful 2. Saji Khan has done it again. He has once again hit the bullseye. Although most of the tracks are so-called inspired tracks from artists like Akon, our viewers still love it. The film is doing amazing business in box office and probably will end up being one of the highest grossing films of the year. enjoyed the charts this week. Well, yeah, it's been pretty good. I mean, the viewers have had their say and they'll have their say as well next Thank week. God, and that's probably why I've enjoyed it. If it was your choice, then... <laughs> I think the viewers will like my choice, especially <laughs> if they see my Twitter account. Anyway, the show's not over and we have so much more packed up for you. But what's coming up next? Well, we've got that interview with Outlandish coming up. Some of you might recognise them from their hit song, Aisha. Aisha. 